Alright y'all, God bless, my name is Jonathan Kale. I got a, um, a, a vision that I had, I want to share with y'all. Um, I had a vision during prayer, okay, uh, actually the beginning of the vision came to pass, okay. Uh, so now, um, and this is personal, it's kind of dealing with my workplace, uh, people that I know and stuff like that, I'm going to just leave it at that. And anyway, um, it was God speaking to me, I bless God for that. Alright, now, then, um, so anyway, I was talking to my manager at my job, and um, he was like, you know, stick with me and stuff like that, yada, yada, yada. And he asked me, um, do I know uh, the doctor, Ben Carson? And I said, I know of him. He said, that's his man. Okay. Um, the, Dr. Ben Carson is the guy from uh, the book Gifted Hands. And he's a Christian. He's a man of God. Um, then I appeared to be on this high pedestal type position. Okay. And now, as I say this to y'all, I'm inside of my job. Um, you know, and I'm like crumbling up cheese and stuff with with my manager. Okay. Um and Obama came behind me and ordered me to get down. He wasn't happy about it because I said Ben Carson really put Obama in his place. And in reality, Ben Carson did. Okay? Um, but I didn't look at that video in a long time. And I know this is God bringing it back to me. Plus, like I just told you, it's a part of this dream that's um, dealing with me in the workplace that um that already came to pass so anyway um so it's already God so then um so yeah so Ben Carson he said I was telling him about how uh Ben Carson put Obama in his place and, and Obama heard me say that okay then as Obama spoke my thoughts started to run as I stood at the bottom of where Obama stood on the pedestal Excuse me. Let me say that again. Then as Obama spoke, my thoughts started to run as I stood at the bottom of where Obama stood on the pedestal like object that made him look taller. And he started announcing on the microphone as he was filmed something and he didn't want me near him or to be seen on the camera nowhere near him because he also heard that I said that Obama was going to die and so he was uptight that this was being said and people removed me from the area it was basically probably like some um, secret service type people but they removed me from the area he was in because they didn't want me to be seen on camera in any way then after that, I heard a voice say that there is not, excuse me, then after that I heard a voice say that there is a new sexually transmitted disease coming out for fornicators. And when I heard this, the voice seemed to be from an educated scientist discussing the details of this disease and how it is new and undetermined. Alright? So um, as I'm as I'm sharing this with y'all, basically I was in the the vicinity still. I was still among Obama when I heard the voice say, "Oh, excuse." Me. Oh, 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 sorry. When I heard the voice say that there is going to be, excuse me, that there is um that there is a new sexual transmitted disease coming out from fornicators okay um i heard that while i was uh while i was still in the vicinity but I, they pushed me off to the side so i'm off to the side and i'm just listening and i'm just like wow you know what i'm saying and so anyway um that's that i just wanted to share that with y'all about that um Oh yeah, this is what I wanted to say before I get off here. Obama knows, okay? He's aware. I believe that when God gave me this vision that I was representing the church. 
just as Ben Carson okay the doctor from the book gifted hands okay um, I'm not even sure I saved it to my real player but I'm not even sure if the video was still up or not but I'm just gonna let y'all know like Obama was getting put in his place by Ben Carson Ben Carson was on a pedestal okay he was on a podium and he was preaching he was he was really preaching but he was speaking because it was an announcement it was a it was a speech it was a function that they were holding it was some type of event and Obama was off to the side like on the uh, right of him and uh, Obama knew that he was talking about him because the doctor Ben Carson was speaking in a way that would make Obama feel pretty bad because he was basically talking about how the country needs to be run better and it doesn't need to be in debt the way it is and stuff like that and then he started talking about how like let's go for Jesus for example that's what Dr. Ben Carson was saying he was like let's go to Jesus for example who you know I get all my knowledge from and all and he just started giving his glo glory to Jesus and he was like you know I give all reverence to Jesus because you know he is uh, you know extra smart and he just started talking about how Jesus was smart and he could be glorified and then the doctor Ben Carson saying you know uh, this is what Jesus would have done if Jesus were to you know get us out of debt or whatever the case could be you know what I'm saying though that's the way he was speaking like you know because you know Obama's trying to ruin this country you know he has desires to ruin this country Obama doesn't have hopes for this country to prosper Obama is basically a kind of he's like a foreign policy man you know what I mean he likes to deal with foreign things he doesn't want to really deal with Jesus excuse me he doesn't want to really deal with America okay so anyway um, I just wanted to put that out there okay uh, Obama doesn't really care for America he doesn't love America and he knows also that us prophets, evangelists, whatever, okay, he knows that we come on here on YouTube and we preach the gospel, he knows that we get prophetic words from Jesus, okay, he knows that the Holy Ghost speak to us, you understand, he knows, okay, that's why he wanted me to get down from that podium, okay, that's why in reality he wanted Dr. Uh, ben Carson to get down from that podium you understand in reality is see but in my dream excuse me in my vision during prayer God showed me my manager asked me if I knew Ben Carson you see that Ben Carson's a man of God you understand we know each other by the spirit the spirit bears witness okay he's the only Christian that I've seen stood up against Obama in his face right there while he's on this on site how many other Christians you see doing this against Obama okay I'm talking about prominent figures okay there was a movie made about this guy um what's the guy's name Cuba Gooden Jr. starred in the movie playing Dr. Ben Carson so my point is how many people who you know who are famous Christians who have what the society wants to say is has things to lose okay they might have a place of comfort they might have a place of you know where they're in good standing okay and he's going forth and risking his stance you know what I'm saying and preaching okay in front of Obama you understand without worries he was rebuking that dude, man. He was rebuking Obama. And so, so you see how that, so you see how God used that, and then right after that, and then right after that, you know, I get to coming against Obama, and then while I'm coming against Obama, lo and behold, Obama tell me get down. Okay, I was kind of shocked in the vision. I'm like, man, Obama just popped up. Like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I know, as y'all see, I get a lot of stuff about Obama, but I'm like, now? Like, even now in this prayer? You know what I mean?
because it's usually dreams. I had you know a few sh small visions probably, you know. But I'm like, wow, like wow, what was that? You know, and um, so I just wanted to share that with y'all because you know, Obama, you know, I believe that I, like I said, I was representing the church, and he doesn't want us to speak. You understand? But it's getting out, and just like you know, I'm also out here with my brother. You know, we out here passing tracks with Obama. Um, being talked about in it because Obama is pushing forth this RFID chip and it's in his uh, health care bill and the Obama bill, the Obama care plan, you know, and um, it's a plan, all right, you know, and so, uh, you know, just preach the gospel and right now, you know, we need to make sure that people know that Obama's being used by Satan, he's a precursor of the Antichrist. Uh, he is Antichrist. He's not the Antichrist, but he is Antichrist. That's why he told me get down from there. You know what I mean? Um, because he knew I was a man of God. You know, and Obama knows. Okay, and so I also want to say, listen. You know, even though I went forth in that, I'm kind of like giving y'all everything that was given to me because it's like split up. And um, I just do want to let you know, like, yes. You know, if you're a fornicator, if you're out here shacking up, if you claim to be a Christian, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm not saying that you can't be a Christian and, and shack up because, yes, if you're born again, God can't take that experience from you. You've experienced Him. However, if you're fornicating, you are operating in sin, you're being a disobedient Christian, and when you die in your sin, you will go to hell. Repent, return to your first love, okay? Or he will take your lampstand from its place. It's as simple as that. Okay. Um, you know, you don't want that. You understand? Jesus, you know, the Bible says that it's a fearful thing to fall into the hand of a living God. Okay. He you don't you don't want to you don't want to mess with Jesus. You don't want to frustrate the grace of God. You understand? Okay, so I just want y'all to know that because with sin is the wages of death. With the wages of death come X, Y, and Z. Okay? Excuse me. With sin, you know, sin is the wages of death. And with, with death, it manifests itself in different ways is my, what I'm trying to say. You understand? Death manifests itself in different ways. Okay? We are already dying. Okay? Um, dirt comes in the shower to prove that we, we you know what I'm saying that we're formed from the dust okay when you take a shower you know what I'm saying from the dust you you you've been formed from the dust you shall return okay um we're nothing but dirt this is the reason why people go bald this is the reason why people lose teeth this is excuse me I don't mean to say we're nothing but dirt cuz we're more than dirt we've been we're made in the image of God but my point is that we're 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 dying is what I'm trying to say because sin is the wages of death, and when you're dying because of what Adam already did, Adam already took on the curse, okay, which was death, okay. Even when you get the Holy Spirit, that curse is still on mankind, okay. You have the Holy Ghost, but you could have arthritis, okay. You have the Holy Ghost, but yet you might have dentures one day, okay? Because you're dying. You're not getting no younger, okay? You're going to die, okay? So, you, you know, that is the curse, okay? Just like childbirth, that's still part of the curse. It's still painful, okay? You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, we still have to work with our hands. We still have to till the ground. We still have to go to work. You understand? Um, snakes are still on their back. They're still on their stomach. I mean, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Th that didn't change. Jesus came as the second Adam to give us life and life more abundantly according to the Spirit. According to the Spirit. But carnally, flesh wise, yes, by, by our stripes we, he, we've been healed. Yes, He can do miracles. Yes, He can help us. But overall is my point. Okay? Overall. Okay? You know what I'm saying? I'm just stressing that because sin is the wages of death. They died. 120 years is what man is called to, okay? And so I'm just saying that because, you know, if you're living, shacking up, fornicating, sinning, okay, don't 
feel like, okay, I don't deserve this. You know what I mean? Oh my God, what happened to me? You know what I'm saying? This is the prophetic word. If y'all here shacking up, sleeping around, fornicating, God just gave me this vision. Okay, he's letting us know that, okay, there's a new sexually transmitted disease on its way. Okay? I'm giving it. I'm giving it to y'all. He gave it to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just tell it like it is. Okay? You can't mix this thing up. Okay? You're either going to live holy or you're going to live unholy. Okay? Um, a lot of Christians fornicate. You know what I'm saying? I fell to that. I can die from that if I were to keep operating in that. Okay? You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I backslid and, and operated out of that before. Okay? I've done that with, and Satan came through a Christian sister, okay? He used me and her, you understand? He got in the middle of our fellowship and it was unpure, okay? But my point to y'all is this. If you shacking up and you think it's all good and you know you need to be living holy, do it. He who does not operate out of faith, to him it is sin, okay? What you don't do in, in faith, it's sin, okay? And faith means that boundary of the way in your Christian living. Faith doesn't mean in my belief system to Jesus. Faith is another way of calling the way, like Christianity, okay? If you're out of the boundaries of living for Jesus, okay, it's sin. You understand? If it's if yes all things are permissible, but this isn't. <laughs> okay. There are boundaries, you understand? So know the context in scripture, all right? Listen. A new sexually transmitted disease is on the way. Get married or don't have sex, Christians. And Obama knows everything that's going on on, on YouTube. You know, he sees it. He sees the videos. He sees many of the men and women of God. He knows what's going on. I'm not saying that to scare you. I'm just letting, I'm, this is a warning. I'm just letting y'all know, okay? Because to me, I'm not tripping off Obama, okay? All right. Peace. God bless y'all and I love y'all.